He's been in the pizza business for 30 years. He is the owner of seven Ventura County Pizza Man Dance. Is this number six or seven? Is this six? Can I read seven? You know, one of the greatest compliments of a speaker can be seen.
well, after a couple of years at Pizza Expo, they ask you to moderate the panel. Now, if you haven't done this before, what that means is you're in charge and you have a panel of speakers, experts on the subject. Is this starting to sound familiar? And as I was preparing for this, I discovered that it was exactly like preparing for a Toastmasters meeting. The end of my first ever panel session, I was approached by a event. <coughs> He said, excuse me, but I, I have to let you know something. I'm a professional moderator. My clients include Fortune 500 companies. I've been coming to Pizza Expo for years. And I have to tell you, I have never seen someone do that. That was quite a compliment. Here's what I discovered. I discovered that a moderator is not the center of attention. The speakers are. I discovered that the moderator controls the show by fielding questions. He controls what's going on. And I discovered that the moderator introduces the panelists and sets them up as experts. Sound familiar? That's exactly what happens. Now, I am the number one moderator at the Pizza Expo. Anyone who moderates panel sessions, they require to be trained by me. All because of those questions. And they, they start out, what do I need to do in order to be successful at this? I say, <laughs> sure enough. Toastmasters has also opened doors for me through the people that I meet. Now, here's some examples of that. Well, I was at the pizza convention and received a phone call from one of the head judges for the International Pizza Competition. There are eight judges, and they judge 160 chefs from around the world in the largest pizza competition in the world. And he said, we have had somebody who's out sick. I was at your talk earlier. You really impressed me. Would you mind showing up as a judge? And sure enough, I got to the judge. I need 40 slices of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm a pizza guy. I'm not a Cordon Bleu graduate. I am not a Food Network chef. So I'm a pizza guy. So what did I do? I ate the whole slice. All 40 of them. <laughs> I love pizza. <laughs> and at the end of two days, the Italians approached me. And they kissed me on each cheek. Mwah! Mwah! I love you! You ate a whole pizza! Everybody else took one bite set it down. They hired me for four years ever since. <laughs> Who else did I meet at the pizza expo? Well, pizza today, the editor approached me and he said, Love your stuff? Would you mind being a regular author? And write articles. Eight years ago, I met a gentleman named Josh Schreider. Josh attended my workshop on differentiation, and he and I have partnered on several businesses since that time. In fact, when the opportunity to purchase the three DNN pizzas this year came up, and I contacted him and said, it's got to be an all cash deal. He wrote a check for a million dollars. That's the type of doors that most masters have. Communication leads to the ability to speak before the public. Leadership to control and organize not just at the Pizza Expo, but day to day in my, in my business, meeting 160 employees. And finally, a combination of those things that allow me to pursue my passion in the pizza business. Now, why am I saying this? You're all Toastmasters, you know this. I'm speaking as a choir, am I not? I'll tell you what. Some of you are not members of the Toastmasters. Some of you should consider doing just that. Taking your Toastmaster skills to the next level, surrounding yourself with excellence, as I believe that I have done in 20 years. I encourage you to do so. Do you remember that little girl? I certainly do. Win. And I think by now, you know the reply that I gave to her. Yes, I am. <laughs> 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 <laughs>